Hello students. So from today we will deal with digital electronics and as a beginning of digital electronics we will deal with number systems. <coughs> so today we will deal with the number system that we are familiar with that is decimal number system decimal numbers and then the number system which is suitable for computers and digital electronic appliances that is binary number system let us first of all see decimal number system or simply decimal numbers we know very well that there are only 10 digits, 10 basic digits 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. So this 0 to 9, 10 digits are the 10 basic digits of decimal number systems. That is, base of the decimal number system is 10 and hence the name derived is decimal number system or decimal numbers. Important is what after 9? So after 9 we use two digits to represent a digit after 9 and in these two digits each single digit has its weight depending upon its position in the number. So after 9 it is 10, then 11, then 12, 13, etc. etc. Till up to 99 and then 3 digits, 100, 101, up to 999 and then 4 digits, etc. etc. To understood the weight of a number, let us consider example of decimal number 23. Here the digit 2 has weight of 10 according to its position and digit 3 has weight of 1 at its position. So, 23 can be written as 2 into its weight that is 10 summed with 3 into its weight that is 1. So 20 plus 3 equal to 23. So what are the weights? If we are beginning from right side it is 1 then 10 then 100 then 1000 then etc etc 10,000 etc etc. So weights are increasing as powers of 10 right from rightmost digit. Rightmost digit has its weight 1 that means 10 to the power 0 because 10 to the power 0 is equal to 1. Then after 0 it is 1. So 10 to the power 1 that is equal to 10. Second digit from rightmost position. Then 10 to the power 3, 1000. Then 10 to the power 4, 10,000. Okay. So in this way, the weights of the whole numbers are numbers in the uh, whole numbers in the written in the decimal number system are from right side, rightmost digit, 10 to the power 0, 10 to the power 1, 10 to the power 2, 10 to the power 3, 10 to the power 4, 10 to the power 5, and so on increasing towards the left side. So this is about the whole numbers. And what about the fractional numbers? So for fractional numbers the weights are negative point negative powers of 10. Negative powers of 10 that means 10 to the power minus 1, 10 to the power minus 2. 10 to the power minus 3 and so on which decrease from 
left to right beginning with 10 to the power minus 1 left means the neck uh, the nearest position rightmost position after decimal point as it is shown in the slide so after decimal point the first weight is first weight towards right is 10 raised to minus 1 then 10 to the power minus 2 then 10 to the power minus 3 10 to the power minus 4 and so on in this way if we have to represent the weights towards left we have left of the decimal point we have whole numbers where weights are increasing from left to right as positive powers of, of 10 that is 10 to the power 0 10 to the power 1 10 to the power 2 and so on and towards right of the decimal point these are fractional numbers and the weights are increasing from right uh, decreasing from right to left as a negative power so 10 raised to minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 and so on so after knowing weights of whole and fractional decimal numbers let us solve a problem of weight example of weight so we have here four decimal numbers where fourth one is fractional number combination of fractional and whole number with decimal point in each number there is a digit 7 and we have to find weight of digit 7 let us take example of 1370 what is the weight write down the number 1370 1370 as separate one and put the weights below each digit from right side so 0 has 10 to the power 0 7 has 10 to the power 1 3 10 to the power 2 1 has 10 to the power 3 so what is weight of 7 weight of 7 is 10 to the power 1 that is simply 10 because 10 to the power 1 is equal to 10 in the similar way we can find the weight of 7 in the remaining 3 as it is shown in the solved examples on right hand side of the slide so 6725 the weight of 7 is 10 to the power 2 that is 100 in the example 7051 weight of the 7 is 10 to the power 3 that is 1000 and in the example 58.72 ah uh, here we have written weights on for to the towards both sides of the decimal point towards right side of the decimal type uh, decimal point these are the weights for fraction decimal numbers and these are decreasing towards right side so 10 raised to minus 1 10 raised to minus 2 and 10 raised to minus 1 is the weight of 7 and 10 raised to minus min 1 means simply 1 by 10 that is 0 0.1 so this is about weights of decimal numbers so after introduction of decimal number system and their weight we have another system which is again the weighted weight weighted number system like decimal number system but which has only two digits that is 0 and 1 so that is base of the number system is 2 hmm. by or die so it is a binary number system so base 2 system which has only two digits 0 and 1 is called as binary number system binary numbers has a base that is 2 a question is how will we calculate how will we count in the binary let us recall our counting in decimal number system we start with 0, so 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So this is, these are the basic digits. And what is after 9? We took 2 digits. Okay. And it is 10, 11, 12, 13, etc, etc up to 99. And now we take 3. And then 100, 101. 999 then 1000 
etc etc that means up to saturating at nine we took we again start at right position with zero to nine and left mode po, left mo, at left most position we took one so after it it is still up to 99 after that again we took the third position third uh, leftmost digit as one and again the same procedure is there same system we will use while calculating or counting while counting in binary so it will be 0 1 2 basic digits what is after 1 again for right post digit we write 0 and 1 and what about the next coming that is 1 like binary after 9 it is 10 ok then 11 so 0 1 12 0 1 2 for right most and for left most it is 1 that is constant so likewise 0 1 then again for right most is it is 0 1 and left most digit it is 1 because after 1 it saturates because there are only 2 digits likewise in decimal after 9 the number saturates okay after 9 or after 99 etc etc so here it will saturate after 1 and we have 1 0 for 2 digit. then 1 1 again both are 1 like 99 in decimal number system so here it saturates for 2 gd 2 digits so largest number in two digits in binary is one one so after that three digits again at rightmost position we have we start with zero again second position with zero and here it is one so one zero zero then one zero one then one one zero then one one well then one 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 so saturates we have four digit that is one 0 0 0 then 1 0 0 1 so likewise up to 1 1 1 1 and then we have 1 4 10 0 so in this way it continues now let us look at the table where we have represented a decimal number as a binary number which has 4 bits you will understood very well if you observe the table carefully so 0 through 15 all are represented as 4 bit binary number ok so 0 will be represented as a 4 bit as 0 0 0 0 what will be 1 it will be 0 0 0 1 what will be 2 it will be 0 0 1 0 and in this way it continues now observe the rightmost column of the binary number you will find that it continuously fluctuates 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 clear now look at the second column from right side so 2 times 0 0 0 then 1 0 0 1 1 so changing frequency is 2 ok so 2 times 0 2 times 1 2 times 0 2 times it continually alternates what about third from right side third column from right side it is 4 times 0 0 0 0 0 then 4 times 1 1 1 1 1 so changing frequency is 4 4 places and what about the leftmost binary digits 8 times 0 and 8 times 1 what will be the fifth column? Guess? Correct. It is 16 times 0, 16 times 1, 16 times 0. What will be the sixth one? It will be 32 times 0, 32 times, if it is 6 bit binary. So I think you got some idea about counting and binary numbers. Remember very well, binary number has a uh, binary number is suitable for computers and digital electronic circuits just like decimal number is suitable to mankind's 
decimal number system is for us binary number system is for computer so binary number system has only two digits 0 and 1 the space of the binary number system is 2 okay and then we have seen counting then important concept that is weight of the or weights of the binary numbers weights of the binary digits in a binary number okay like decimal number system binary number system is again a weighted number system binary number like a decimal number is a weighted number so there we have seen that weights are 10 100 1000 etc etc that is 10 to the power 0 10 to the power 1 etc from where 10 is 10 was the base of the number system here base of the number system is 2 so weights will be power of 2 so lower a least significant bit that means the bit towards rightmost binary number binary whole number has weight 2 to the power 0 and what is 2 to the power 0 that is equal to 1 and weights will increase from this position towards left side okay that is 2 to the power 1 then 2 to the power 2 2 to the power 3 etc etc what about fractional numbers again fractional numbers will be represented in binary by placing bits towards right hand side of the point that is known as binary point so here it is binary point in decimal number system we have seen a decimal point here it is a binary point okay so after binary point we have 2 to the power minus 1 that is 1 by 2 equal to 0.5 and then 2 to the power minus 2 2 to the power minus 3 and so on so after binary point the powers are negative powers and decreasing towards right side okay uh, so in this way if we consider if we observe the weights towards both side of the binary number by sorry binary point you will find that towards left it will be whole number that is 2 to the power 0 2 to the power 1 2 to the power 2 2 to the power 3 and so on 2 to the power n minus 1 so if it is a binary number with n digits so highest power uh, weight will be 2 raised to n minus 1 and what about after fraction after binary point we have fractional numbers fractional binary number and the weights will be in this fashion that is 2 raised to minus 1 2 raised to minus 2 and so on till up to 2 raised to minus n where n is the n, n digit fractional binary number so weights are powers of 2 now let us look at what are the values of weights so values of weights are solved and shown in this table uppermost step so after binary point towards left side it is 2 raised to 0 that is 1 then 2 raised to 1 it is 2 then 2 raised to 2 it is 4 2 raised to 3 it is 8 2 to the power 4 16 2 to the power 5 32 2 to the power 6 64 2 to the power 7 128 2 to the power 8 256 2 to the power 9 512 2 to the power 10 it will be 1024 and so on for whole numbers and what about for fraction number it will be towards left to right after binary point that is 2 raised to minus 1 2 to the power minus 2 minus 3 2 raised to minus 1 1 by 2 0.5 2 to the power minus 2 1 by 4 0.25 2 to the power minus 3 1 by 8 0.125 2 to the power minus 4 1 by 16 0 0.625 2 to the power minus 5 1 by 32 0 0.03 125 2 to the power 
2 to the power minus 6 1 by 64 0 0.015625 and so on. After knowing the weights, weights of uh, digits in a binary whole number and digits in a fractional binary number, let us find how to convert a binary number to a decimal number that is binary to decimal conversion. Uh, let us directly take example that is convert the binary whole number that is 1101101 to decimal very simple put the binary number and write down the weights from rightmost binary number the weight of rightmost binary number is 2 raised to 0 then next 2 raised to 1 2 to the power 2, 2 to the power 3, 2 to the power 4, 2 to the power 5, and 2 to the power 6. For the weights with digit 0 and simply sum the weights with corresponding to digit 1. So here weights of digit 0 are 2, raised 2 to the power 1 and 2 to the power 4. For it and write down remainder 1. That is weights for digit 1 and those are from left side 2 raised to 6, 2 to the power 6 plus 2 to the power 5 plus 2 to the power 3 2 to the power 2 and 2 to the power 0 sum all this so in this way 2 to the power 0 1 2 square 4 2 cube 8 2 power 5 32 2 to the 6 power 6 64 and summation is 109. So, a seven digit binary number 1101101 has a three digit decimal equivalent 109. Uh, after conversion, after knowing how to convert a whole binary number to decimal. Let us convert a fractional binary number to its equivalent decimal. Again, for our convenience, the table is shown here and from that we can take the binary digits, uh, weights of binary digits. Okay, So, let us convert a fractional binary number 0 0.1011 decimal very simple write down the number and put its weights from after binary point the weight is 2 raised to minus 1 then minus 2 then 2 to the power minus 3 and minus 4 again excluding the weight of the digit 0 that means considering the weights of 1 we have two weights uh, those are 2 raised to minus 1, 2 raised to minus 3 and 2 raised to minus 4 and all these weights. So what is 2 to the power minus 1? It is 0.5. You can observe in the table. Then 2 to the power minus 3, it is 0 0.125. 2 to the power minus 4, it is 0 0.0625. And addition gives us 0 0.6875. So the conversion of 0 0.1011 binary number gives us a decimal number 0 0.6875. So, after knowing binary to decimal conversion, let us do decimal to binary conversion. Uh, there are different methods, two different methods actually and the very first one but somewhat the method which is not a systematic one that is sum of weights methods. In this method we simply determine the set of binary weights whose sum is equal to ask the decimal number. For example, it is asked to convert decimal 9 to binary. You take the binary weights 
whose sum is equal to 9. And from the table, I will find that it is 8 and 1, which are summed together, then I will get 9. So 9 can be written as 8 plus 1. So 8 means 2 cube plus 1 means 2 to the power 0. And plus 1s at the position of 2 to the power 3 and 2 to the power 0. And for remaining, it is 0. That means start from right side. So 2 to the power 0, then 2 to the power 1, 2 to the power 2, 2 to the power 3. So 2 to the power 0 exists, so put there 1. 2 to the power 1 does not exist, put 0. 2 to the power 2 does not exist, put 0. And 2 to the power 3 exists, put 1. In this way, 1, 0, 0, 1 is equivalent binary number for decimal 9. Let us have another example for better understanding. And let us take two digit number, that two digits decimal number 58. And let us find the binary equivalent of decimal number 58. Now again put 58 as sum of binary weights from the table. And we will find that 58 can be written as 32 plus 16 plus 8 plus 2. Okay. So 32 is 2 to the power 5 plus 16 is 2 to the power 4 plus 8 to cube plus 2, 2 to the power 1. So, put 5, 4, 3, 1, the weights as 2 to the power 5, 2 to the power 4, 2 to the power 3, 2 to the power 1 as 1 and 2 to the power 2 and 2 to the power 0 as 0 at respective positions. We will find the number it is 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, which is decimal equivalent, uh, which is equivalent binary number for a decimal 58. Uh, see, uh, when you will find the weights, addition of weights, it is somewhat tougher one, not systematic one. It will consume time and tedious method. We need some systematic method for the conversion. Don't worry, we have a systematic method for conversion and that is a repeated division by 2. A repeated division by 2, that means simply we took a decimal number and divide it by 2 till the result, till the quotient becomes equal to 0 and we collect the remainders at every step and those will be either 1 or 0 since we are dividing the number with 2. So a repeated division by 2 method, it is a systematic method. So we can convert a decimal number to a equivalent binary number simply. The method is get the binary number for a given decimal number. To get the binary number for the given decimal number, divide the decimal number by 2 until the quotient is 0. Divide the given decimal number by 2 which is base of the binary number system until the quotient is equal to 0. Collect remainders and these remainders form the binary number. Okay, let us solve one example. For example, convert decimal 12 to binary by repeated division by 2 method. So divide 12 by 2. What is quotient? It is 6. And what is remainder? Of course, 0. So, 2, 6, 12. So, remainder is 0. Quotient is 6. Now, in the next step, divide this quotient by 2. Repeated division by 2. So, 6 by 2. So, it is 
2, 3 is 6, so result is 3. Again, remainder is 0. Quotient is 3, again divided by 2, so 3 by 2. 2 1 is 2, quotient is 1, and remainder is 3 minus 2 equal to 1. So, quotient is 1 divided by 2, so 1 by 2. So, here it is quotient which will be 0 to 2 into 2, 0, 2 into 0, that is again we have 0 and 1 minus 0, that is equal to 1, that is remainder. Now the quotient becomes 0, stop. Write the remainders from lower side to upper side. So in this way, as shown in uh, as shown by the red arrow here. So it is one one zero zero. That is binary equivalent to decimal twelve. Simple and systematic method. Let us have another example. Convert decimal nineteen to binary. So nineteen by two. It is nine. Remainder one. Then quotient nine. So divided by two. Nine by two. Is a uh, quotient 4 remainder 1, 4 by 2 quotient 2 remainder 0, 2 by 2 quotient 1 uh, remainder, uh, remainder 0, 1 by 2 quotient 0 remainder 1, quotient 0 stop dividing from lower to upper side 1 double 0 double 1. So 1 0 0 1 1 will be the equivalent binary number for decimal 9. Now, after converting a whole binary number to equivalent decimal number by using two different methods, that is sum of weights method and repeated division by two method, let us see how to convert a decimal fraction to binary and the first method is sum of weights method. Again, let us find the weights from the table which when summed over gives the fractional decimal. Let us have example that convert fractional decimal number 0 0.6252 to binary. So we have two weights that is 0 0.5 plus 0 0.125 which gives us 0 0.625. So what is 0 0.5? 2 to the power minus 1 and 0.125 2 to the power minus 3. Okay. And put binary point first of all and then write the weights. 2 raised to minus 2 to the power minus 1 with the first weight, then 2 raised 2 to the power minus 2 next, minus 3 next. So put once for the weights you have summed over that is 2 raised to minus 1 and 2 raised to minus 3 and for 2 raised to minus 2 it is 0. So it is 0 0.101 will be the equivalent binary number. Again what is the drawback that we have to find the weights which when summed over gives you the equivalent decimal number binary weights which when summed over will gives you a decimal number and that is time consuming so more systematic method is necessary and the systematic method is the systematic method to convert fractional binary number to its equivalent fractional decimal number is repeated multiplication by 2 in this method, we simply multiply the given fractional number by 2 till the fractional part becomes completely 0. Uh, let us solve one example. For example, convert the decimal fraction 0 0.3125 to binary. So, multiply 
zero point three one two pi with two. And what is the result? It is zero point six two five. Now, what is the carry now? Of course, zero. Put here carry. Carry means simply the digit uh, that we took uh, from fractional side to whole side. Here it is. No carry, so carry is zero. Then take the fraction number, fractional decimal. That is zero point six two five only fraction. Multiply it by two. It is one point two five. So here it is carry. So put carry as one. And fraction is now point two five. So multiply zero point two five with two in the next step. We have point five. So again zero is the carry. Multiply point five with two in the next step, and we get one point zero zero. And the carry is one. And fraction is zero. So since fractional part has now become zero. Stop multiplying. Now, exactly in the reverse order. Now, put the binary digits represent, represented by carry from upper side to lower side. So, zero point zero one zero one. Don't forget to put the binary point first. Okay. So, zero point zero one zero one will be the equivalent binary number for. Decimal fraction zero point three one two five. So, for our revision, let us convert decimal zero point three seven five to point. So, by repeated multiplication by two method. So, multiply zero point three seven five by two, you will get zero point seven five zero. So, carry zero. Put carry. Then. 0.75 fractional part multiply by 2 it is 1.5 so carry is now 1 multiply 1 uh, multiply now fractional part 0.5 with 2 so remember that we have to took only fractional part so 0.5 multiplied by 2 it is 1.0 so carry is 1 now since fractional part has become 0 stop multiply okay and Write the digits, carry digits from upper side to lower side from binary point. So zero point zero one one will be the equivalent binary fraction number for the decimal fraction number zero point three seven five. So it was a repeated multiplication by two. So thank you very much. Thank you for your patience. uh if we summarize this lecture we started with the decimal number system important part we learn from decimal number system that how we count especially after the first 10 digits that is after 9 it is 10 11 etc etc and then we studied the weight of the decimal number system and we observed that the weights are 10 to the power of positive numbers that is 10 to for 0 1 to towards left hand side of the decimal point and these are minus 10 to for minus 1 10 to for minus 2 towards right hand side of the decimal point and then we studied we deal with the binary number system which is the main object of digital electronics which is suitable for computers which has only two digits 0 and 1 then we learn how to count in binary and weights of binary again the same weights are shown here in this table and we find that weights are 2 to the power 0 2 to the power 1 2 etc etc their equivalents are 1 2 4 8 60 32 64 128 256 512 10 to the power uh, 1024 Oh, but it's just like we are buying RAM, 16 MB RAM, 32 MB RAM, 64 MB RAM, 128 MB RAM, and 256 MB, 512 MB, 1024 MB, or KB, 
<laughs> let us see thank you thank you very much thank you for uh, your cooperation and we'll stop here